Good day. Welcome to Cambridge Everything. If you went out and you bought one of these Flash Boys, you're going to dump some Game Boy ROMs, Game Boy Advance ROMs, so you can play them on your computer. And looking for the software, very hard to find the software. I found some software that worked really well, but they've kind of updated it, kind of like for their very specific version. So without the new firmware, it's not going to work. And of course, this is not an official, like their official one, whichever brand it is. So you cannot upgrade to firmware. You cannot use the software. So you need older versions like 3.17. But I did find the Flash Boy software, and I'll put a pinned comment below. It's on archive.org where you can get the ver version of software from 2019. So pretty new, uh, but I've tried it. Works great, very simple. Plug in your cartridge. And you click on read and you're done. It's that easy. The hardest part is figuring out where it saved the file. So we're gonna kind of go over that really quick. I'll put, like I said, I'll put the pinned comment below if you wanna download software and how to use it. Very easy. So let's go to the software. So you wanna go where you installed it, the Flash Boy Cyclone and launch it. All right, got it launched here. And you can see there's some options, cart, directory, options, help, cart, specify cart, select ROM, directory, where you're going to save it. Remember this because you want to know where you saved it. The options are save, uh, save date and time and allow, always prompt for save game file. Okay. And help, you can see view our website. It kind of takes you to the Alibaba website that you need to log into. And about Flashboy Cyclone, you can see here it's about 2019 for this software. So pretty new. And that's it. And what I do, working mode, you do Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance. We're going to do a Game Boy. We're going to connect to it and see it connected. And I always do cart info. Make sure it can see the cartridge. That's not a bad cartridge. And read flash. So that's it. Read flash. That's it. And it reads it. You can see back here, it's kind of saving the file for you. And this will go pretty fast. I think it's one megabyte. Yeah, one megabyte. And it's done. And that's it. And here's your little file. Bring it up in your emulator and you can play all you want. So it's that simple. Just one click, basically. Or two clicks. Connect, read, done, and play. So I anyway, hope that helps out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. That you guys have a great day.